Hello, my Starfield family, and welcome back to another Starfield video. This one is a little different than the ones that you are all used to, like tips and tricks and a one ship building one. And today, I'm going to show you a complete guide on how to get every snow globe in Starfield, including the ones that nobody really shows, like the face of Mars and the little uh, International Space Station one in the museum and all these other ones. I'm going to show you every single one, and I believe I have every single one in the game here shown complete guide how to get them where to get them where to get the quest and everything like that so if you enjoy this guys of course subscribe like comment and tell me which one is your favorite snow globe i want to know what your like top three or top one and you know let's see what you guys like so go ahead guys and i hope you find this guide useful so of course let's get started now, I would like to mention really fast before we launch that I'm going to tell you that the first couple are going to be ones that are locked behind quest, including the main story, side quest, and the Crimson Fleet quest. So you, if you've already done them, you can't go back and do them. But of course, you can use this for New Game Plus and all that. So don't be afraid to come back and see where they are. So let's get at it. Hope you guys find this useful and let's go. So let's start with the ones that are locked behind a quest. So this one's going to be locked behind the Unearthed Main Story quest. And actually, there are several of them locked behind this quest in the same place. So go ahead and head to the NASA Launch Tower in Cape Canaveral, Florida. From getting there, just head on in like you would normally. Just don't use the elevator, but still want to go to the elevator as a point of reference. Now, if you didn't realize, this is the elevator that's going to take you down into the museum portion, but we don't want to go there just yet. So to actually just go ahead and turn away from this elevator and just jump over this hole in the platform. Go across this bridge and to the right, you're going to see a bunch of pipes. Go across these until you get back onto the platform like so. Now, upon getting back on the platform, you're going to see this door here to the back left. Go on inside and to the right of the room far in the back, you're going to see these lockers. In the middle one, there is a NASA snow globe. There's going to be multiple of these. So if you want duplicates, you can find them. And if you don't, just skip the ones that are the duplicates, including this one. So from the lockers, just turn around and you're going to see this door right here. Go inside and do a complete U-turn behind this desk to the left. And there's going to be another of the same snow globe right here. And you can go ahead and take it. Or if you don't want it, you can just go ahead and leave it. Now, the important one is going to be hard to get to. And so I'm going to show you the exact route on how to get up there. So we're here just between the lockers and the desk, and you're just going to head back outside the door that we came in. Now you're going to want to jump on top of this container like so, and jump above the door that we entered to the, get to the lockers. From here, you're going to want to get on top of this kind of scaffolding that is on top of this blue container, and go across the broken pipe like so, and jump on this outside little balcony area. Jump up on these little squares here. And upon reaching this top one, you're going to want to jump up through the scaffolding again and get to this balcony or ledge. From there, you're going to want to make it to the highest point you can. And as I look around here, you're going to realize that there's probably multiple ways to go. And I would like to remind you that there is probably multiple ways to get up. So I'm just showing you one of the methods. So of course, you're also going to want a boost pack. I'm just going to add that. So go on, go on ahead and cross this little balcony here. And you're going to want to climb up these kind of tipped over scaffolding. Now just go ahead and climb up here to the right and get up to the highest point you can. Turn your left and jump up. And then just go ahead and jump up to this next platform that has this sand on top of it. Now from there, you're going to just keep making your way up by using this little box here to the right. Just go ahead and jump on it and you're going to see a lot of platforms in front of you. Go ahead and jump across. Now, of course, a boost pack is going to help, but for these jumps, it's not really necessary. Now just go ahead and keep climbing up these little platforms, these hanging ones. Climb up here on these little vents or whatever these are supposed to be. And then just go ahead and turn around and you're going to see a chest on the platform. Bethesda actually kind of awards you for doing this multiple times. So go ahead and take whatever you would like to take from that chest and just climb up and keep going up for now. Now you're going to want to just head across this bridge to the left. So let's just head across right now. 
And then upon getting over here, you're going to realize the left is a dead end. So just go over to the right. Now make your way across like I am, and you're going to see another area that goes looping around. So just go ahead and just follow the way I'm going right here as I'm just going to head on straight like so. Now, just keep going to the left over this way, and you're going to want to just head across these boxes or walk around. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to see these pipes that are kind of tipped down. So go ahead and jump on this crate and go ahead and jump onto those pipes and go up. Now you're going to be in this area, this little platforms with a bunch of sand. You're going to want to just jump up here and you're going to want to walk across till you see these platforms that are kind of broken. It looks like a bridge that kind of tipped down and you can go ahead and get on it and walk up to the next level. And here is another little area with a storage box and some stuff you can take a little tiny reward for yourself. Now you're going to just want to keep heading along like so. So go on and look to your left and go across the bridge. Now once you go across the bridge, you're going to just want to go over here to the right. And you're going to just see a whole other way to go, which is exactly what you want to do. So head to the right here on this little catwalk and just follow it along. Towards the end, you're going to see these little parts that stick out and go ahead and climb on top of them. And then you can just head across the entire thing like so on all of these little platforms. Once you get to the end, go ahead and just climb up and you're going to be on this level right here. And now you have one of the few easy steps of this whole part. And that's going to be just climb the staircase. This is one of the easier parts. And there's a couple times where you're going to have to just climb stairs. And right here is the first time. So upon going up all the way up the stairs, you're going to reach a new level of the place. And that means a new way you're going to have to go. So go back towards the stairs and go around them like so. And you're going to want to go ahead and find this area right here. Now you're going to have to go across like this and reach the other side. So you're going to go across this little tiny scaffolding, turn your right and go across the bridge. Once you go across the bridge, just make your way around like so until you get all the way around to the other side. Upon reaching this way, just keep making sure you use your boost pack to stay up or just jumping like normal. And over here is another chest. So here is another little reward section from Bethesda. Take what you want, get yourself a little something from here and move on. So once you move on, just go ahead and keep going like we were. And you're going to see an area to jump up like here. And then you're going to see if you look over to your right, a little way to go and jump on top of one of the bridges. Go ahead and climb like this, stick to onto the wall, and go ahead and jump up like so. Now reaching here, you're going to realize that you have reached the top of one of the, the towers. And that also means a nice little reward section for yourself again. So go ahead and take what you want from there. Now you're going to just head across this beam like so and get onto this platform. This is a good time to probably quick save because I have a feeling this is where a lot of people are going to make a mistake. You have to jump from this to the other bar like I did. And it's not always the easiest thing for anyone. Like I said, though, earlier, there's probably another easier route, but this is the route that I'm taking. So just follow me along the scaffolding like this and you're going to reach the staircase next to a sandy platform. Go ahead and climb the stairs. And upon doing so, you are now almost at the top. You have almost made it. So go ahead and just jetpack up to the staircase here. It's a broken staircase. Go ahead and get up to that and go up the stairs. And you're going to be right there. You are almost there. The top is in sight. So go ahead and walk around these walls and climb up the next staircase. Just go ahead and go up. You are going to have to jump to another set of broken stairs right here. So go ahead and get up. Now here is another chest. Go ahead and take what's inside if you would like to. Now once you reach up here and take what you want, just go ahead and turn back up actually. You're going to want to jump up above where you were standing onto the ceiling. From there you're going to want to jump on top of the yellow thing above us but there's also this cute little plushy dog holding a toy rocket and he's even got a space helmet on i thought i'd mention that really fast so go back to where we were standing and above you you're gonna see this yellow platform here go ahead and jump onto that and you're going to see right up here is the snow globe we have been chasing so go ahead and finally grab it 
And there's also some sweet rolls right next to it. So probably a little uh, little gift to Bethesda fans, if you know what I mean. So go ahead. You can stay up here, take some screenshots or whatever you want to do. And here's the snow globe. I think this one looks really nice. It's the NASA one with a nice rocket going off. Now go ahead and go through the elevator and go into the museum. And from there, you're going to get a point to here. So just follow the main story until you get to this room. Now I'm going to add an extra little thing here, a little collectible. On this desk here, there's going to be a bunch of these pamphlets. They weigh nothing, so go ahead and take them. And I don't know if you can get these anywhere else. And I don't believe you can though. So go ahead and take them. And it's like another little collector's item. Now go ahead and just progress here like I am into the museum. And around the left side here, you're going to see this rover. Now you're really going to want to click onto this program here. This is going to give you the quest to go find the Opportunity Rover on Mars, which we're going to do a little bit later. So just stay tuned for that. But that's not it here, guys. You're going to want to go up this staircase like I am. And right upon going up to the top, turn to your left and you're going to find this red little room over here. Now, it might look like nothing, but actually on these seats to the left is another snow globe. So you're going to want to take this one. This one is really nice, and I like this one a lot. It's got astronauts on the moon with the American flag that we planted, and it's at and it says NASA on it. It's really neat, really cool, and probably one of my favorites, if I'm being honest. So go ahead and grab this one. And that's not where it has to end, because right next to them is another hidden one that I haven't seen a lot of people actually put in any videos or anything. So this one might be a good time to go and get this if you haven't already. Now, this satellite here might look like just a nice artifact, but if you go on top of the satellite and you climb up here and once you jump past this part that sticks out the top turn around and you're going to see another snow globe this one is exclusive to this location and it looks really neat it's a nice satellite in a mars or a moon looking snow globe and i really like this one too so go ahead and grab it i don't think many other people are know where it is or are putting it out there so definitely if you're watching this go grab that one now that's not it guys, just progress the main story until you get to a part that looks like this. Now you're just going to want to go to those computers on the right, so just head down and go to them. You're going to see here on the desk is going to be a location of another snow globe, but this is the same one we got outside twice. So this is the last duplicate for it. If you want it, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, you don't need to go and grab it. It's entirely up to you. Now, guys, this next one's going to take us to Mars for the Opportunity Rover. Now, if you just skip to this part, you're going to have to go back to Snow Globe 4, and you're going to have to just watch the beginning part to where I show you how to get this. It's during that mission, which is why we're just moving on here. But the Snow Globe can be found just sitting on top of it, and this is also a really neat area of Mars just to look around and maybe make a house on. And here is the Snow Globe. It looks so nice. I love how clean it is. It's just got the Martian sand below it and the rover, nothing extra. It's super clean, super nice, and this is probably another one of my favorites. So go ahead and grab this one. Now our next one, guys, is going to be locked behind another kind of quest. So going from the Soul System, go to the Porima system. From there around Porima 2, you're gonna have this spaceship here, assuming you did not do this quest already. If it says here you can go to the orbit, go ahead and go there and find this ship and board it. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. Now go ahead and just follow the route I take, but I also am going to warn that if you already did this mission that has to do with this ship and Paradiso, then sadly you cannot go back and get this. It is gone for good. The only way you can get it is on New Game Plus or making an entire new save or going back to an old save of this one and getting it. But once you reach this classroom like this, go ahead and grab this book in the front and that'll open up the new Shanghai landmark. So go ahead here and Shanghai. This one's pretty easy to get. And look how massive this place is. This is one of the coolest ones for sure. But go ahead here and it's going to be right here in the front. So go ahead here and grab it. It should be an easy pickup. Now don't do what I just did and slip off and not be able to grab it. So just climb the rock on the side if you can or if you want, I mean, and go ahead and grab the Shanghai Snow Globe. Take a look at it because it is super nice. I like this one too. I know I say that about all of them, but I actually don't really have one I don't like. And Bethesda should really sell these snow globes because this would be amazing to have. 
Now this next one is in the same boat as the last one, in the sense that you can only get this if you haven't done this quest. Breaking the Bank is going to be the quest, and that is during the Crimson Fleet and UC Vigilance quest line. From there, just go to where I'm heading in the er Arena, I think is how you pronounce it, if it's wrong, uh, whoops, and go ahead and go to the Siren of the Stars. From there, make your way until you get to the area where all the partying is going on, and just head over to the left and go up these stairs, and upon going up the stairs, just head to your left again and get into where all of the passenger rooms are. Now, once you enter, just go to the left here and go up this grand staircase, head through this hallway like so, and at the end of the hallway, make a right, and on your first First left is going to be this man's room. Go inside of his room. It'll open later in the quest, or you can use a digipick to open it. But on the left is a desk, and on the desk on the far right is a book. Grab that book, the race to the heavens, and get ready to go back to Earth. Because back on Earth is now the Dubai location. So now you're going to be in Dubai. And there is another one of these large skyscrapers, and it looks just amazing. So go ahead, and I believe if you land like I did, it's going to be on the uh, opposite side. So you're going to have to go around the entire tower like so. But I mean, just bask in the glory of how tall this is and how it really puts things into perspective. I mean, wow. So go ahead to the other side. It might You're going to have to go through a little bit of sand. But upon reaching the other side, there's going to be this kind of pile of rubble from the uh, tower. So go ahead and you'll find it like so. And on the left side of it, when you're facing it, will be your snow globe right here. So go ahead and take it. It's another really nice looking one. So go ahead and you can look at it in your inventory. And it looks really, really nice. I love how all the little skyscrapers on the outside, like surrounding it looks. I mean, it's just so neat. It's another good one. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorites just because I keep re-saying it, but it's definitely up there. Now this next one, guys, go to the Alpha Centauri system. And of course, this is one of the starting... Uh, locations and go to Jemison. From there, you're going to want to travel to the lodge. This is a really easy one to go get. While you're in the lodge, go up the staircase to the right and you're going to want to go to the second door here where this hallway is. Just head down the hallway and on the door to the far left like this, go on inside. In this room, look to your right right here and you're gonna see this book go ahead and take this book and you can now go to the apollo landmark on earth's moon so just head to earth's moon and here it is this is my favorite location of them all maybe besides the pyramids of giza this is so neat the american flag planet here the apollo landing the bottom the landing structures here and on top of it by the way is your snow globe so go ahead and snag it but i mean this one is just my favorite one to look at I mean, this is just so neat, so clean. And I think even over here is maybe the first uh, footprint that it's supposed to be. I can't exactly tell, but I think it is. I mean, this is just, I love this one so much. This is my favorite. And even the snow globe is just amazing. I love this one so much. This one is, I'm definitely saying it. This one is one of my favorites. I love this one. It's got the flag. It's got the lander. It's got the astronauts again. I mean, this one is probably my favorite if i'm being honest only excluding egypt because that one is kind of on a whole new level but this one is definitely one of my favorites so now our next one guys are going to be probably a lot easier we're gonna go here to the cheyenne system and we're gonna go down to aquila and of course that means we're going to aquila city now this one is really easy guys to get so let's get started so upon landing in Aquila City, guys, you're going to want to just head to the main gate like normal and just go forward. Now, guys, just go past the hitching post and head towards the back. And over here, you will see a little alleyway up the stairs. Go through this and you're going to see on the far right will be a bookstore. So just keep heading through this alleyway and right over here is Sinclair's bookstore, might I add. So go ahead and go inside and just talk to Sinclair herself. And if you go ahead and do this, go into her shop, you're going to be looking for two very specific books. 
Now you're going to want to go ahead and look for the book, The Ancient Civilization of Egypt. And you're also going to want to find another book after this one for the London landmark called Oliver Twist. So go ahead and grab these two books. Just leave her store and let's head back to Earth. So once you reach the London landmark, you're going to just want to go towards it. And if you land in the same spot that I did, this snow globe is going to be to the right of it. So just head past this one and you're going to find it on a couple of rocks like you see here. Now go ahead and just pick it up and grab the London snow globe. And I mean, this one is a really good one as well. And it's also a very tall structure again. So go ahead and look at it. And I mean, this one is really neat. I didn't notice it the first time, but the Big Ben is in the back. I'm surprised they didn't make that the landmark, if I'm being honest. But it, overall, the snow globe is really, really neat. Now, you're going to want to just head over to Egypt now. And this is, in my opinion, probably the best one on the same level of Apollo's. Now, this one is super neat, but this one, this pyramid right here, right in front of us, is not the one we want to go to. But look how beautiful Egypt is, even like 500 years in the future and Earth being destroyed. So go ahead and you're going to want to just travel to the other pyramid over there. Now, just head on towards it. And I mean, I definitely advise once you grab your snow globe, Go ahead and climb on top of the pyramid and just take in the view. This place is extremely beautiful, and I got lucky with the time, too. It's a nice sunrise and everything. So go ahead and get to the other pyramid. From there, guys, you're just going to be able to find it right almost on the base of the pyramid, as I'm going to show you. So you'll be able to just pick it up, and if you don't want to climb, you're done. You don't got to do anything. So just go ahead here, and it's going to be in this corner that faces the other pyramid. Just climb up about two, three uh, blocks, and you're going to be all good. So go ahead up here and go ahead and grab it. This one is my favorite of them all, and it's also the most related to the channel since we are Feral Rising. But look at it. It's got all the pyramids on it inside, and even in the back it shows. I mean, this one is really, really neat, and it's even got camels in the front. I love this one so much, so go ahead and grab this one for yourselves. Now, that's not it, guys. I went ahead and climbed to the top for you just to show it off. And I mean, look at this view. Every time of the day you climb up here is going to look nice, but wow, did I get lucky with the time. So go ahead, climb up to the top if you want, guys, and check out the view. It's going to look amazing. Take some pictures, take some videos. You know the drill. And like, just cherish the view. Like It is amazing. Alrighty, so moving on guys, we're going to head back here to the Alpha Centauri system. And of course, that means we're going to head back to Jemison and New Atlantis. Now for this one, guys, you're going to want to go and try and select the Mast District. If this one's not available for you yet, and you're just early in the story and you're watching this, go ahead and just land anywhere. You can get to this place from anywhere, but head on into the Mast Building. From there... Enter through the front door, and in the back, you're going to see an elevator that you can go in. Just go ahead, and you're going to want to select the option that will give you Center uh, Command, Office of the President, and Systems Defense. From there, just head out of the elevator and go to your right. Then once you pass this door, go to your left, enter this door, and on this table right here to the right is going to be this book, Our Lost Heritage. Go ahead, and you're going to have to steal it. Upon stealing it, guys, you can now go to the New York landmark on Earth. So go ahead to New York, and here we are, the Empire State Building. This one looks super neat. I'm surprised they didn't use the Statue of Liberty. I feel like that's like the post, you know, dead Earth kind of landmark that every Hollywood type thing shows off. But I mean, Empire State Building works too. So go ahead and go to the right of the Empire State Building, and, that, and just go past it, because that is where your snow globe is going to be. Now just go on ahead, and here it is on these little rubble, so go ahead and take it. And this is, uh, yet again, another tall structure, 
but it's also a very neat one. And of course, the snow globe is as beautiful as ever, and another one of my favorites. I know I keep saying it, but I honestly, I just love them all to death. And this one is just also really, really neat. And the little city aspect on the outsides just adds to the overall look of this one. So go ahead and grab this one, guys. I mean, this one is one of the easier to get and one of the coolest ones, in my opinion. So go ahead and from the soul system again, we're going to want to head down here to the Volai system. In the Volai system, you can go here and you'll be able to just go to Neon and you're going to want to head into the Neon Core. This one's going to be a little bit longer to get, but you're going to see what why. So upon entering, guys, you're going to want to head to your left of the Spaceport Terminal where over to the Astral Lounge. Now, I know if you're going in the right direction, guys, the Neon Security HQ sign is going to be here. Just go past it. And the Astral Lounge is going to be just up ahead. Now, you're going to want to head inside like so. And upon entering, we're going to have to do a little bit of pickpocketing here. So go on in and enter. And on a hard left, you're going to see the VIP elevator. Go on inside, use it, and then upon exiting the elevator, take a left. At the end of the hallway, take another left. And at the end of that hallway, take another left. And at the end of that hallway, enter the door to your left. And in here, you'll see Benjamin Bayou or buy you and go ahead and pick pocket his penthouse key now i won't see it in here because i already did this but it will be in here so go ahead and pick pocket his penthouse key now leave the astral lounge and you're going to want to head to the left here is another elevator how you know you're in the right one is if you click on it and there's only two options like this so go to his penthouse Upon entering, go straight to the left up this staircase, and after you enter the staircase, go to your right and just go to the end of this room towards his desk. On his desk, you're going to see a book, and you're going to want to just take this book, which is called The Price of Destiny, and now you can go to St. Louis Landmark, and this one is a really nice landmark, so you're going to want to do this one. So now you have arrived in at the St. Louis Arch. So go ahead and actually this one's really easy because it's just going to be under the top of the arch. So just head towards it and look at this view. Wow, we got another good time one just like Egypt. I mean, wow. So go ahead and you're going to head towards the St. Louis Arch, like I said, and right between the two bottom arches or right below the top arch is going to be your snow globe right next to the scaffolding on the rocks right here. Go ahead and pick it up and let's take a look at it. This one is super, super neat. And as somebody who really kind of likes the St. Louis Arch, got to say this one's another one of my favorites. This one is really really neat and i really like this one so definitely guys go grab this one now moving on guys we're gonna go from the soul system to over here where narion and valo is together and we're gonna want to go down to valo go on in and you're going to want to head over to this one over here polvo and you're gonna want to go into hope tech or hope town or whatever you want to call it Go inside of the building, guys, into Hope Tech and just head past the security. And you're going to want to take these stairs in the back left. So just go ahead and take these stairs up and up again when you get to this level. And you're going to see this kind of desk over here. Just go around the wall and you're going to reach this area with a bunch of offices and cubicles. Just go to the back and go up the stairs and head across the bridge. Go through this main door at the end of the kind of hallway type thing, and here will be the desk, and you can go right here and take this book. You're going to have to steal it, and you're more than likely going to have to get caught, but go ahead and take it. Even if you get caught, guys, in the books that are stolen, it will leave your quest. You do not have to keep holding on to the book. Now go ahead, and here we are. So this is another really tall landmark, but... This one is going to be a little easier to get as if you just go straight towards it, there is a little ditch right here and you can get the Los Angeles snow globe minus some reason inside of a rock. But this is a really, really nice one again. Now let's take a look at the snow globe, guys. And I mean, look at this one. This one is another really neat one. I'm not going to go ahead and say this one's my favorite or up there, but this one is definitely really neat. Another good one for your collection. And of course, go ahead and grab it like always. Now our next one, guys, is going to be going from the soul system 
all the way over to Crix. We're going to go aboard the Key, which is the home of the Crimson Fleet. Now, you might not really have access to it. That's going to be up to your choices in the Crimson Fleet UC Vigilance quest line. But anyways, you're going to want to head through the Reckoner's Core and take the door out to the left in the far left of the room and take this first elevator up. So upon exiting that elevator, go ahead and use the stairs right over here. Go up to Delgado's room. Now, once you get up to this point, go through the doors to where his bed is. And he's going to have this book on the nightstand next to him. I don't think he's going to mind if you just kind of take a peek and go ahead and take the book. I don't think he's going to mind at all. And oh my god, Delgado, what are you doing? Anyway, let's move on, and here is the Osaka landmark on Earth. This is going to be another tall structure. <laughs> and I mean, of course, those are going to be most of the ones that survive getting buried alive by sand, but yeah, I feel like there's definitely ones like the Liberty Statue or Statue of Liberty that could have been used. But regardless, this is also just a really nice landmark. They're all nice landmarks. But go ahead and here, if you see this little H in this rubble, that's how you know you're in the right place. But go ahead right here on this rock and go ahead and take it. This is another really neat snow globe. So let's take a look at it. Looking at the snow globe, guys, it's, I'm not going to lie, there's nothing really extra special about it, but it still looks neat, of course. I still love this one. Not one of my favorites, but definitely still worth picking up. And of course, it's just, I love these snow globes. I love the idea. <laughs> Now, moving on, we're going to go to from the soul system and we're going to go to the soul system because that's really far to go. And you're going to want to go to Titan, which is the moon of Saturn. And you're going to want to go to New Homestead. From here, guys, go ahead and land and enter New Homestead. And you're going to want to just go past the airlock and follow the route I take. So just go forward and you're going to see these stairs here. Go ahead, go down the stairs and enter uh, enter the real portion of New Homestead. Here on the right is a chunks, but you're going to want to go past it and you're going to go right down the stairs and make a sharp U-turn to the right. And on the shelf right around here is going to be your book. Go ahead and grab it. I already grabbed it, so I can't go ahead and see it. Now, once you've done that, guys, just head to Earth like always and head to the new location and just go ahead and go to the marker or just follow where I'm heading. It should be right here close to the left. Go ahead and grab this once and all amazing, beautiful Hong Kong snow globe. Now, let's take another look at it, guys. And this one is really neat as well. But like my problem with the last one, it's just kind of basic in the end. And I'm going to have to say it's another one that I like, but not one of my favorites. Now, this one, guys, is going to be the fun one. This is one I don't see many people putting around there at all. So you're going to want to go to Seoul, and you're going to want to go on to Mars and go into Sidonia. Upon arriving in Sidonia, guys, go ahead and enter. This next step, I'm not sure if you absolutely have to do this, but you're going to want to do this. So we're going to have to go from Sidonia, which is over here, and we're going to want to head this way. It's an unmarked location. So go ahead and mark it if you want. You can kind of see that this is a face. This is the face of Mars. And where I'm standing is kind of like the eye. There's another eye right over here and a mouth. So you can kind of make it out. But you're going to want to go in the far eye away from Sidonia because that's where this one's going to be. So go ahead and enter. I don't know why it's unmarked, by the way, because here in your radial, it's actually named face of Mars when you're standing there. So it's a bit odd. Regardless, go ahead in Sidonia and just head straight through the entrance and just keep going until you reach the main area with where you can see everything and everything is and all that. So go ahead here like so and follow on the left side and you're going to see the marker for the face of Mars. It doesn't give you a quest. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but go ahead here. And you can interact with it and read what it is. And we're going to head there right now. So let me show you a bit of a guide to get there. Now, this one is really hard to show you guys. So you're going to have to try and stick with me here. So here's Sidonia. And we have to go here where my marker is. This is where we have to get to. So if you can figure out where this is on your map, go ahead and put your marker. And you probably should just be able to follow it and you'll be fine. If you're having a bit of troubles, I'm going to show you how we can possibly get there with no marker whatsoever. So you're going to have to try and stick with me here. It's going to be a bit complicated. 
Now go ahead and you're going to want to look from your land where you landed for this crane here. Ma try to match up your screen with mine and that's how you'll know that you're going in the right direction. So head for that kind of crane. I believe it's a fracking station. So just head over there. Once you make it, you're going to see what I keep calling a crane sticking out like this. And actually that will go ahead and point you in the direction you need to go. So just line it up, look down and you should see this mountain. Go ahead and head for this mountain. That's what you're going to want to do. So once you head over there, you're going to need to just get on top of the mountain as far and fast as you can. Now, once you get up there, guys, like this, you're going to see this huge crater. But if you turn around, kind of see what I mean, there's all of Sidonia over there. So once you get over here, guys, you should see this little crater like so. You're going to want to just jump and go down into the crater. This is one of the eyes of the face of Mars. And right here, you're going to see these little rock patches. And the one on the left kind of forms like a C. So you're going to want to go to the bottom of the C. And you're going to find right here is the Sidonia snow globe. I don't see many people put this in their videos at all. And especially, I don't see them put it in complete guides like this one. So if you made it to this, guys, go ahead and grab this one. This one's really neat. I love this one. This is definitely up there. Top five, probably. Sidonia's is really neat. And of course, it's really hard and more rare to get because it involves a lot more work. So go ahead and grab this one, guys. This is a really neat one. So let's get it. And so everybody, that concludes this guide. If you did this right, we should have every snow globe in the game in our inventory. So I hope you guys found this useful, and I hope you guys are going to come back if you need. And don't be afraid to stop back in and check on some that you weren't able to get before because maybe you already did the quest. Now, we've already spent 30 minutes together, half an hour, so why not let's spend some more time together? I'm going to put up some videos, guys, for you to all go and enjoy, tips and tricks, and I hope they're all useful for every single person here, and I really hope that you guys like the style of this video. If you do, guys, subscribe, let me know how you guys feel, like it, and of course, comment. Let me know if you guys want more of these type of complete guides and all that. I'm trying to get a footing here in Starfield, and so far, you guys have shown so much love and support. So I wanted to keep expanding, keep growing on starfield and i really think guys we can make it great here so let's go guys of course like i said subscribe like comment let me know your snow your favorite one to three snow globes like i said at the beginning and of course enjoy the rest of your days i hope you guys have a fantastic day fantastic weekend whenever or whatever you're watching this and of course i wish you guys a lot of success so thank you yet again. Of course, if you have friends that need this, guys, share it to them. Let them see this. These are such cool collectibles, and they really enrich the gameplay. So like I said before, guys, subscribe if this helps. And if you want to see more Starfield and some other games content too, like the video, guys. Comment, let me know, and also share it to some of your friends or just share it around. And of course, like always, I'll see you in the Starfield. <laughs>